So YouTube, welcome to another video. And today I'm playing Minecraft and I'm going to show you how to build a mob spawner. My last video was on um just showing you my mob spawner. Well today I'm going to show you how to build it. So basically what I do it it's the easiest way to get a load of monsters is just put it on flat band. So I'm just going to call this tutorial for mob spawner uh. and just type in any kind of random seed more options super flat yep <coughs> so once you're done Oh yeah, also this is going to be a full tutorial, no skipping or anything. So I've got about 20 minutes to do this. New Halloween. And we spawn right next to a village. That's quite good actually. So I'm going to build it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab stone bricks, mossy cobblestone, you don't have to grab these bricks is what I use and then wooden planks it's basically it's, oh yes I'm also going to show you how to add the redstone contraption so basically you can get items that you can so basically make it like a 2 by 2 thing here like this I just like to make it look unique anyway so now we've got to work on the height as you can see Gotta make it about 23, 24 blocks high, roughly. I'm just going to make. I'm just going to guess how high it is. It's going to be about. Let's say about. 16 or more block size. You basically just keep working on this. We'll just do it that high for now. And then once you've done that, you're going to need your wooden blocks now. And what you're going to do is put it eight. Seven, eight, like that. And then you're going to do it each square side like this. Should be about it. What's the make Eight like this. And because I got this is why I'm doing it pretty quick because I've got like not much space on my camera so 
I have to go fast and my uploading speed isn't very fast either. Wait, what am I doing? Like that. You gotta try and make it. Just to make it less complicated, I'm gonna do it like that. It's just really confusing. I think that's fine. Yep. <coughs> and now I like to find out <coughs> whether it's long enough. So, so what you do is just grab a whole load of water buckets, and if it's long enough, it'll be like that. See? Just grab two more buckets. No. <coughs> like that. And now what you do is raise this one more higher. As we keep going, we're going to need to get some more stuff as well, a bit later on. But for now we'll work on this little bit. What we do is just straight stretch it across so it's like a big square, I guess. There's the first one done. Yep. As we keep going, we'll just carry on. We'll try and go. As, I'll try and go as fast as I can. Keep missing. There's the second one. As you can see, it's coming together pretty good.
the last square now. I'm going to just try and make it go as fast as I can. So I'm just making it go higher. No! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, three. There we go. Now we've got that done, we'll carry on with the river a bit. Basically, what you're going to do now is get a trapdoor and some ladders. We're going to get two ladders on each part, like this, and then you're going to go. on each side on each side like this there we go annoying when those trap doors glitch. Last side now. Now we've got the stream going, we're just going to have to finish this off. Going to add one extra part. Now we're just going to add one extra bit like this. So, so it's easy for the mobs to w to get into the stream. Don't know how it just works better. Like that. Wait. No, actually, that's wrong. Okay, now we're done. We've got to get some slabs. So I'm just going to choose. So i got to get some slabs. I'm going to choose stone slabs for this. What you gotta do basically is do this so spiders can't spawn and the reason it's bad about spiders spawning is they will block up the stream and nothing will spawn at all. doing the right thing anyway. right up. <coughs> My little sister's a little bit ill, so that's who you can hear coughing in the background. It's not working as well as last time, but 
Yeah. So I'm just going to make it faster and I'm just going to place loads of random ones. like this. Basically now you're just going to do the roof bit now. <coughs> Sorry if this has been like a slow boring tutorial. I can't pause my camera to, like, stop it, but if I were going to do something like that, it'd probably, I'd probably have to upload, like, ten different videos. Michael, why are you doing that? Like this. Basically, I've only got what not long to do this, so I'm gonna have to go super fast. And then repeat this. I think this will be the end of this video though. So I'm going to have to go as fast as I can now because I've got 25 seconds. Anyway, this will be at the end of this video. I'll see you later, guys. See you in part two, the quick part two. Bye. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another video. And today, I'm just doing part two of how to make a mob spawner. But yeah. So, this is just, I'm just going to, just, I'm going to put this into part one anyway. I'm going to edit it into part one. But I'll keep this video as an extra anyway, maybe. Maybe. But I've just done a bit of the roof. Like this. So I'm just going to finish off the roof and I'll show you what to do next. I've almost finished the roof now, so yeah, it's almost done.
There's the roof done. Now all you need to do, because you've finished it, I think. Now all you need to do is get a load of torches, place them all on the roof, like this. And now what we do, around the mob spawner, you put a load of torches to stop. It didn't stop the mob spawning outside, but it's like, it helps them spawn inside the mob spawner. Like that. Now we're done. I'm going to see if it works. So I'm going to... I'm going to save the game. Like this. And I'm going to put it on survival hard. The only reason it might not work is because I just kind of guessed everything. kind of guess where the slabs go and just to make it go faster so I'm just going to wait <coughs> and we've already got a skeleton is that it? nope three skeletons it works at least. Nope, nope, it's going faster. See? There you have it. That's how you do it. And that was just a guessing version. If I would have done it, there'd be a lot more monsters right now. I've got two music discs. And it blows up. There you go. That's the end of my showing you how to do a mob spawner. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.